viewers all over the world if you're just joining us my name is general overseer dr charles takawenga i'm coming to you live from the deliverance center friday service today god has taken us back to the time of moses and i was asking my master and i was saying lord why moses and god said no there is something that the children of the ministry must be able to see with regards to witchcraft with regards to witchcraft the people that are in witchcraft they also have power they also have power. The people in witchcraft, they have power. To Kululu Kalala, they also have power. Moses would take his stick, throw it down, it will become snake. And the people in the world, they would also take their stick and throw it down, and it will also become snake. So it is important for you to know which power you submit to. Simba Rawakarekera Deripi, this is the power of salvation, the power of Jesus Christ. And that power. Is supposed to be sufficient for you today. Hallelujah. So we'll take our reading from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 16. Joshua, chapter 1, verse 1. And they had in this the Lord's charge to Joshua. After the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant. He said, Moses, my servant, is dead. Therefore, the time has come for you to lead these people, the Israelites, across the Jordan River into the land I am giving them. I promise you what I promised Moses. Okay, stop there. I promise you what I promised Moses. If you come to the deliverance center to worship here, this is number one. There is a promise that God gave Moses. It is the same process, promise that God gave Joshua. The same pros, promise that God gave Jacob. The same promise that he gave the general overseer. You can only inherit the promise of your master. Hallelujah. Who is your master today? Because you can only inherit the promise of your... Yes. God only give you the promise that he gave to the other one. He says, the promise that I gave to Moses is the same promise that I want to also give to you. What is it that you're going through today? And what is the promise that God has promised you? And the promise that he promises you today is not the, a new promise. It's the promise that is inherited from the old master. Joshua is going into the promised land according to the promise that God promised Moses. It's not a new promise. It's not a new revelation. Listen to me clearly. That is the promise that God had initially promised your forefathers. If that promise was a promise of poverty, setback and limitation, it's the same promise that you inherit. This is why you must understand that there is power of darkness. There's also power of light. What power do you submit to today? The promise of Moses. It's the same promise that God is promising Joshua. Next verse. Verse 3. I promise you what I promised Moses. Yes. Wherever you set foot, you will be on land I have given you. Wherever you set foot, you will be on land that I give you. That's God's promise to Moses. From, from the Negev wilderness in the south to the Lebanon mountains in the north, from the Euphrates River in the east to the Mediterranean Sea, in the west, including all the land of the Hittites. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live, for I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. You see now, my success is only based on the promise of Moses. God says I must take courage and be strong. To fulfill what he promised Moses. If the promise that God promised Moses was not fulfilled in my life, God will then give that same promise to my children. And say, Ngoni, you will continue with the promise that we promised General Overseer. And after Ngoni failed to finish the promise, God will also continue with the promise to the other children. Our God's endeavor with regards to your life is to fulfill his promise and the promise that he promised Abraham. The same promise that he promised Moses is the same promise that God promises you today. You can go to church for many years and not fulfill the promise. It is what we have taught in Hebrews chapter 11. 
that they, they continue to live even if they did not receive the promise. Hallelujah. So that same promise is the inheritance that God is also speaking upon your life today. The promise of Moses. Verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. For you are the one who will lead this people to possess. For you are the, the one land. that will lead the people. To possess all the land I saw to their ancestors. You see, God is only speaking about the inheritance of the past. The inheritance of the forefathers. No new plan here. Listen to me clearly. Whatever your father failed to achieve, according to the promise of God, you must achieve. God's promise must be fulfilled in your life, in your generation, your time. Glory be to God. Verse 7. Be strong and very courageous. Yes, be strong and courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Listen, there is no secret to success. I want to repeat this. There is no secret to success. God has already given us the master plan. He says, for you to be successful, you must be obedient to the word that I gave Moses. Follow the law that I gave Moses. Oh, okay, you read it. Be strong and very courageous. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Be Moses gave Be careful you. to observe all the instructions that Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them. Do not move out of the law. Turning either to the right or neither to the left. Neither to the right nor to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Anointing, I see what Be careful. Let's read that one again. Verse 7. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Let, let us say all. All the instruction all apana yakanzi usa zvanze all mutemo wa makapiwa na Moses muchatevera wese kuti mubudirire mupfume ukaona ini ndi chigara mba yakanaka iwe ndi chigara mu fourth floor mu seventh floor siana neni it's because i observe the law that god spoke ndakugara wese shiri ndiri mu flat mom hallelujah obey the instructions and god will be exalted in your life do not deviate from them. Do not deviate from the law. Turning either to the right or to the left. Yes. Then you will be successful in everything you do. So that is the secret to success. If you want to be successful, just follow the law that God gave Moses. Don't turn left or right. Maintain the law. Maintain the law. And then you will be successful. That is the biggest secret today. Success is obeying the Ten Commandments that God gave Moses. That's all. And you will definitely be successful. Next verse. Verse 8. Yes. Study this book of instruction continually. Uh -huh. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Thank you, Jesus. Only then will you prosper and succeed on okay. all you do. Listen. Zanzi, Kuramba Uchiberenga Bible. Study everything that Moses has given you. Only then will you be successful. So success is not determined by the job that you are doing. Success is not determined by the house that you are living. Success is determined by the amount of word that you know. How much you are soaked into the word of God. Ah, let's read that one again. Verse 8. Yes. Study this book of instruction Study continually. Study the book of instruction continually. Meditate on it Meditate day and night. Meditate on it day and night. So you will be sure to obey everything. So that you can it. be able to observe and obey everything day and night. Only then will you prosper. Only then will you prosper. And succeed in all you do. And succeed in all you do. So prosperity and success only come through obedience 
of the word and your knowledge to the word. Reading the word day and night. Making the word a standard of your life. Then only then will you succeed. Hallelujah. What is the formula for success? The formula for success is meditating upon the word day and night. And that is the formula of success in Jesus mighty name. Prosperity is in the word of God. Meditating upon the word day and night. Following the coordinates that God has given us through the law. Then only then and only then will you be successful. Verse 9. This is my command. Uh -huh. Be strong and courageous. Now, God has given us one more command. The commandment that God now gives is that you must be strong and courageous. That is the final command that God has given you. I know trouble shall come, but be strong and courageous. I know persecution will come, be strong and courageous. Sickness and disease will come, be strong and courageous. It doesn't matter that you know kwana pama monya monya koreri no uno kwana iwewe uno kwana. Chero vakaku shunguru za saying that you know kwana chete. Be courageous and strong. You shall overcome. You shall overcome. You shall overcome. You shall overcome. Hallelujah. I'm now going to give you the plan of success. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Do not for be the afraid. Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 10. Joshua then commanded the officers of Israel. This is now what happens. If you are in authority, after God has spoken to you, you now also take the word that God has given you, and now you command the officers of Israel. I want you to see this formula. Oh, I wish I had a board. Ngoni, arrange a board. Listen clearly. God has spoken to Joshua and God has given Joshua one commandment be courageous and strong and obey and observe everything that Moses was doing and I shall surely be with you everything that you do I will be with you but when Joshua goes to the people he is not going to tell them the secret that God has given him he is now coming with the master plan he knows that God is with him in everything that he does Hallelujah. Yes. God said, surely he shall be with me in everything that I do. And when Joshua goes to the people, he goes to the people with a different message from the one that God has given him. God has given you power and authority to have dominion over everything. Take it, my daughter. Verse 11. Verse 11. Go through the camp and tell the people to get this their provisions ready. This is Joshua speaking, not God. Joshua goes to the people and says to the people, see Angoni, see Agamu, see Amaimaka. Go to the people and tell the people to get ready because time you're going to go to Moyashika. This is what, what Joshua goes there. He says, ah, in three days we are living here. We are going to take land and occupy in Jesus' mighty name. That in the Nokupa Simba Kupinda Pamuro Iwako Korerino. Simba Kutaura Shauno Das Chitika. Hallelujah. What does Joshua say? Verse 11. Yes. Go through the camp and tell the people to get their provisions ready. Uh -huh. In three days, uh -huh. you will cross the Jordan River uh -huh. and take possession of the land the Lord your God is giving you. Listen. God never spoke to Joshua. But he, the formula of success is three days from now. Joshua goes and takes faith, takes courage, and says to the commanders, and I know the one who is in the room, because he must have a tattoo, and whatever, everyone must. Can I read Maria, Samaria, and Copa Jose? Can I cherish him? But we are leaving this land and we are going to take over in the mighty name of Jesus. I say this month we are taking over. I say we are taking over. We are partaking everything in the mighty name of Jesus. That you know Roreka Gorerino, Uno Badarama school fees Gorerino, Rentia Koino Kafi Kamwetuno. You are taking over. 
thank you, Jesus. You know, God, when he was presenting to me, says, I must make it a teaching. I must not make it a preaching. I'll preach this on Sunday. But today I must teach you. Let's go further. Verse 12. Yes. Then Joshua called together the tribes of Reuben, yes. Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. Uh -huh. He told them, uh -huh. remember what Moses, uh -huh. the servant of the Lord, commanded you. Uh -huh. The Lord your God is giving you a place of rest. So I want to show, show you something. When God gave command, it's not everyone. There are some people that will remain behind. As the church starts to take new levels, some people will remain behind. You must not worry about those that remain behind because we're only looking for those that are strong. Hallelujah. Because it's not everyone that is able to go. Kum soro soro. Zisa kushami seba mo ba chisara ba zasi ba na ba chisara tichitora ba kasimba ba chienda nabo. Even Joshua, when he was crossing the river Jordan, there are some that remain behind. Listen, God speaks to Joshua to say, "I'm taking the Israelites across the river Jordan, but it's not everyone that will cross the river." I'll show you. Let's go. The Lord your God is giving you a place of rest. Yes. He has given you this land. Uh -huh. Your wives, uh -huh. children, uh -huh. and livestock may remain here in the you land. You see, who will remain behind? Let's say your what? Your what? Your wives. That's what? I'm crossing Jordan without my what? I said your what? Why? You are going to take over, but there are some people that must remain behind. What does the Bible say? Who the, will remain behind? The Lord your God is giving you a place of rest. Yes. He has given you this land. Yes. Your wives, uh -huh. children, uh -huh. and livestock may remain here in the land Moses has assigned to you yes. on the east side of the Jordan River. But See, your strong warriors, your strong warriors, fully armed, fully armed, must lead the other tribes across the Jordan to help them conquer their territory. So, we're going to have a problem, Panam. Hey, Kuti, a harisi rese yese wondo inorugwa nemkatu wako. Never never go kana nemombe zako. There are some places. I, I want to be honest with you. My wife has never been to the prayer mountain. How many know that? My ashes, you must raise your hands. How many know that? My, my own wife has never been to the prayer mountain. Amen. Amen. It's not everywhere where you take your wife. Say, hey, baby, hey, 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 It's not everywhere you take your wife. You don't just cross the river Jordan with your wife and think it's going to be okay. What does it say? Your wives, uh -huh. children, and livestock may remain here in the not land. Not even one of my child has been to the prayer mountain. But God is saying, you must go, you must go, you must go. Because he knows your strength in Jesus' mighty name. Those that go to the mountain, it's according to grace, according to the strength of the master. Hallelujah! It's not by favor. Hallelujah! It's not by ability. It's by grace. Going to the prayer mountain is not by your ability. It's by grace. Who will remain behind? Your wives, uh -huh. children, yes. and livestock uh -huh. may remain here in the land Moses assigned to you on the east side of the Jordan River. Thank you, Jesus. It's what? Pane munana wakaitu wana Moses wakutanga wakuti Red Sea Jordana raka furika Red Sea Baka crossa nem cut nevana. As in next Jenny, Mukatza asku crossa. Arkusara. Ah. 
Barume ndivo ari kuenda beka. Bakasimba vacho ndivo ari kuenda mberi. And there's going to be a second miracle. Jordan will open and they will cross again another river. Hallelujah. By special grace. There is not ngoni. I must tell you my son. Not every miracle your wife must be able to see. There's a miracle that your wife must not see. It's a miracle that God will only allow your husband to see. Amen. Kane mime minana ichaone kwa nemi vakadzi chete varume venye vasina kuiona. Hallelujah. Amen. It is like that. God give grace according to his own grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Not according to the design of men. If it was another ministry, zvaitanga zvanze Amai vesanga no kandiyo chimbopfuga mai pa altar muchiragidzo zvino ndati havaziwe zviri kujorodane. Zvino zvikano nemwe amuchene nokuti zvino zvemweya. Let's go. Tinyo. But your strong warriors, your strong warriors, fully armed, fully armed, must lead the other tribes across the Jordan to Thank help you, them Jesus. conquer their territory. Mm. Stay with them until the Lord gives them rest, as He has given you rest, and until they too possess the land the Lord your God is giving them. So there is another level that you must now enter. The first level of becoming a child of this ministry, you enter, thank you, Jesus. There is a second level. Don't worry about your husband who's not yet coming to this church. Hallelujah. A level. That God wants to upgrade you in Jesus' mighty name. This is the word. She said she wanted to upgrade the family. Your family must be upgraded by the Holy Spirit. The spirit that was bothering the young girl was saying, why does this young girl want to upgrade the family? Now I get the word upgrade. I decree and declare God will upgrade you today. I decree and declare that God will upgrade you today. Chapter 2, verse 1. Joshua chapter 2, verse 1. And the heading reads, Rahab protects the spies. Rahab protects the spies. Then Joshua... Then Joshua secretly sent out two spies from the Israelite camp at Acacia Grove. <laughs> Whatever the man of God tell you, just do in Jesus' mighty name. The man of God is with God. Finish. It's not about man of God. It's about God working through the man of God to give you instruction. If you humble yourself, then God will be exalted in you. Let's go. He instructed them, yes. scout out the land on the other side of the Jordan River, especially around Jericho. Uh -huh. So the two men set out and came to the house of a prostitute named Rahab and stayed there that Ch night. Ch Chimbo Mira. I'm sorry, Baba, no book. I say examples. This is Tatumana Joshua. Tafamba. I'm sorry to use you as example. Please stand. Just stand, my daughter Rahab. Stand there. Toshika topinda Mumbai echi peve. Imichimira yeku. Mama, don't be offended. It's an example. Imichimira yeku, Baba. Indomira kuno. Toshika Mumbai echi peve. Tiri bana ve anointing ye city life. Tatuma kuti tino ita scout kuti nyika itinga itore se. Listen to me clearly. There is a secret that is behind this teaching. Listen. Joshua was at Acacia Grove where they were staying. Because me and the brothers were strong, we had to cross the river Jordan to be able to get to Rehab. Whether we cross by canoe or we cross by swimming, it is not written. But it was a long journey. But no shikira, no shikira payimbaya Rehab. Hallelujah. Listen to me. 
Rehab is the prophetess, but from the evil kingdom. She is a prophetess from the evil kingdom. And what does Rehab say? Verse 2. Yes. But someone told the king of Jericho, uh -huh. some Israelites have come here tonight to spy out the land. Monitoring spirit and not monitor which you farm. Oh my god, you people are slow. You are walking, but there's a monitoring spirit that is monitoring your movement. Hey, now they are at the deliverance center. Now they've come for breakthrough. Now they have come for their finances. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, they are alone. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Ah, our number is the moon. You know, and the moon and the chimney should go on us. You could take Then what happened? Verse 3. Yes. So the king of Jericho sent orders to Rahab. Uh -uh. Listen. Why send orders to Rahab? Hallelujah. It's because Rahab. Oh, take it, my daughter. So the king of Jericho sent orders to Rahab. Uh -huh. Bring out the men who have come into your house. Yes. For they have come here to spy out the whole land. Amen. Chiriko chirukungo taura umu munzewe Muhari chirukungo chirukungo Nuko tata Tapina mama wani Tapina mama wani That is there is a monitoring spirit That is monitoring your career Monitoring your business Monitoring your finances Monitoring your health That is a monitoring spirit Which must be broken That monitoring spirit Tutakui dambura dambura monitoring spirit Ngai kure kete kore dino Ngai kusie iwewe so to Baba guys are a power. That money that is in spirit must die today in the mighty name of Jesus. Ha! Then what does Rehab say? Verse 4. Yes. Rehab had hidden the two men. Listen. But she replied. Achimbo Mira. Chino ita kuti Rehab. Atange kubi gavan. Mambo pavadu kuita she monitari. It's because she's a prophetess. It doesn't matter that she's prophesying from the dark kingdom. But I'm going to say that you don't have to say that you don't Rehab had hidden the two men, uh -huh. but she replied, Yes, yes, the men were here earlier, but I didn't know where they were from. Uh -huh. They left the town at dusk uh -huh. as the gates were about to close. Uh -huh. I don't know where they went. Uh -huh. If you hurry, you can probably catch up with them. Mm -hmm. Actually, she had taken them up to the roof and hidden them beneath bundles of flags she had laid out. Yes. So the king's men went looking for the spies along the road leading to the shallow yes. crossings of the Jordan River. Uh -huh. And as soon as the king's men had left, mm -hmm. the gate of Jericho was shut. Yes. Before the spies went to sleep that night, uh -huh. Rehab went up on the roof to talk with them. Listen, I want you to hear the prophecy that Rehab gives to the men of God. That is sometimes, Ukaona men of God, Amen. Ah, you people are slow. Ha ha. Amen. You say, say, ah, Murkuti. That's my kind of man of God. Ha ha. Ayaku bata bata. Ha ha. Hey, man of God, you're going to go Then rehab. Before the spies went to sleep that night, mm -hmm. Rehab went up on the roof to talk with them. Yes. I know the Lord has given you this land. Listen, she told ah, them. Jacob. Ah. Jacob, Joshua. Joshua, I'm not going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. 
Ani maizwa. Nukuti tine promise ataka piwa. Aba basa tiba tumbo chauda na rehab. Nenya ya. Ati iye rehab. Akto botanga kuporofita. I know. Continue. I know the Lord yes. has given you this land. Yes, given you this land. She told them. She told them. We are all afraid of you. Everyone in the land is living in terror. For we have heard how the Lord made a dry path for you through the Red Sea. Monitoring spirit, you know, tanga up tower as you know. You know, that's the same. The children can go explain. Ah, ah, general, 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 general. Monitoring spirit, you may be seated. Hallelujah. Monitoring spirit will start to speak everything. My son, my daughter, you must open your eyes because Lucifer has been monitoring you for a long time. Everything that you want to do, whether you want success, Lucifer has been monitoring you for a long time. I decree and declare today by the end of this evening service that your life must not be monitored in Jesus mighty name. That in the poor of it a mauri, paite kuchka kuchapinda mumuvengi wako. Let there be terror by day, terror by night in the mighty name of Jesus. Muvengi ngachke, 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 ngachke. No poor of it a kudedera mumba me muvengi wako. Do not say that in the no poor of it a kudedera. Let there be terror in the house of the enemy. Terror in the workplace of the enemy. Terror in the field of the enemy. Let there be terror. 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 Let there Ndati mapete mumba imomo gaite oda. Mazizi gaite oda mapere. Gaite oda jikwambo. Gajite oda. Padungo tauru wa zitarako. Mwanawe mporofita. We are taking over. We are recovering everything. In Jesus mighty name. Ha. Hey. Zitarako richungo tauru wa so. Ngapango itaku. Contract Take it slow. I, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm not supposed to preach. I'm supposed to teach today. Verse 10. Yes. For we have heard how the Lord made a dry path for you mm. through the Red Sea. Yes. When you left Egypt. Uh huh. And we know what you did to Sihon and Og. We know. Shamar Mengo Kano Zia Shaunita Shamar. That's our own Kajokumbaya. I know Zibakuti, he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Do not be afraid. Be of good courage. Continue, my daughter. And we know what you did to Sion and Og, uh -huh. the two Amorite kings east of the Jordan River, yes. whose people you completely destroyed. No wonder our hearts have melted in fear. No one has the courage to fight after hearing such things. Uh -huh. For the Lord your God is the supreme God of the heavens above they, they and the earth below. They are aware about your God. They know. They know that your God is the supreme God. This is why I tell you, if they say, where are you? You must say prayer mountain to keep quiet. Say, status prayer mountain. Hallelujah. Yes. You are going to to face face. But you want to put a face here because of one of our download of our stuff to marry. Tanya latest. Yana Zure, I put it and got it safe to marry Tombo. The Pungait. But not it is to know my general. That's how one of them. I see profile picture morning water. Why? 
Ukaka kwa sa picture yangu. Bano bwa tuona sa mimi. What is latest? Inini ukaenda Banoni na Sondizia. Andi chinje chinje ma picture. Hiyo yaba kaisa kwa hariku dara ndio hiyo yaka expire. Haleluya. Eh. Yaba kaisa mahari gorena go chanembe ndio hiyo chete yaba chinayo. Andi ngo chinje chinje tuma picture ndi ukatoona pa Facebook pa ne picture but not ona hiyo hiyo. Iri pa morning water iri pa what what ndio yaba not to god. Because andi chinje chinje because I understand the witchcraft. You put your new picture today, they download that one. The print in the welcome command, I'm married, Dola. Cha. Otora, only is a foot by Mari. Immobile by a mass is only in the narrative in Twelve Twelve. Muromo, Oka, Daibo, Vaisa, and Lipstick Evil. There is witchcraft, my daughter, my son. Why you are not progressing is because the latest, Yako latest in the other now every day. When the man on Guga Monday, she moved up. Profile, you're quite changing. Don't you download the picture? Do you say open all that? Yeah, God could it there. Hallelujah. How about the evil one? They take the, they put on the grave. Every new one they take, they put on the grave, and set back, set back. No limit, limitation, limitation. You understand? It's important for you to be of good courage and be strong. Your faith must not fail. Let's continue. Verse 12. Yes. Now swear to me by the Lord uh -huh. that you will be kind to me and my family since I have helped you. Okay. This is a deal happening between a man of God and a prostitute. Urugunzi Men of God, Urugunzi. Ne prostitute. Chipika na maruwa ko yo uta undura yewe. Nukutina kubetera. Da chipika yo yo na maruwa ko yo yo na kubetera undura yewe. It looks funny, but I want you to know the plan of the master is not your way. The plan of the master is not your, your way. God used foolish things to get breakthrough. God used foolish things. God used what? Foolish things to bring breakthrough. In your office, that person that is giving you problem, God can be using that foolish thing to, to give breakthrough. I want you to know that foolish husband, God can be using that foolish husband to bring breakthrough to your life. To your marriage, to your business, foolish thing God can use. Okay, listen to this false prophet. What does he, what does he say now? Now swear to me by the Lord uh -huh. that you will be kind to me and my family yes. since I have helped you. Uh -huh. Give me some guarantee that uh -huh. when Jericho is conquered, yes. you will let me live. Listen, the prophetess of evil is already prophesying. But here I would have to say that you are going to be a prophet. You are going to be a prophet. Ria Fadis Kumbokusia, Nukuku Parata, Nukuku Parata, Nukuku Parata. I will not make this same covenant when it comes to your case. That demon that is holding you, the Chipeta Tower at the Moni Rory, they back up a battle. But all right. Muro in Gaita say, Gaf, be a papo. After protecting a Chipeta Tower, Muro in Moba, Maita say, Thank you, Jesus. Continue, my daughter. Give me some guarantee that uh -huh. when Jericho is conquered, yes. you will let me live uh -huh. along with my father uh -huh. and mother, uh -huh. my brothers uh -huh. and sisters and all their families. Uh -huh. We offer our own lives as a guarantee for your safety. Uh -huh. The men agreed. If you don't betray us, uh -huh. we'll keep our promise and be kind to you when the Lord gives us the land. Mm -hmm. Then, since Rehab's house was built into the town wall, she let them down by a rope through the window. Escape to the hill country. Listen. She told them. Listen. Who's prophesying here? Yeah? Rehab. Is the one prophesying? Okay, can I have a panel? Quirai gomo iro. Can I have a shikamu gomo? Mo garama zwa matatu. Can I garama zwa matatu? Musa buruke gomo iroro kwe mazuwa matatu. Ama vahenda no uku vani ngeva zoka. Mazuwa matatu kana apera. Switcha kwitire isha kanaka. Urukunzu kwa uti chiporofita. Chiriku piwa. Nemporo. Pros. 
the truth. I want to show you that the evil kingdom, when they want to safeguard their own, they can give prophecy. Thank you, Jesus. You must learn to observe these things. That Lucifer, yes, his kingdom, they can also prophesy. And you must be vigilant. And from tomorrow, when you come for one-on-one, -on -one, and you say, I want to 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 say, we watch you on TV, we watch you on YouTube, and so so on. But is Then I was asking, I was saying, ah, I've got somebody which you people in your kingdom are giving pain. Munuyu, I got sick at I know what you want to pass the And I'm going to go to the house. Ah. Charles, when you talk about six or two, what is one, two, three? I don't mind touching that. Muroya, you do It's all we manage. The band that you all right. Can you buy me a foot barukuya panam? Baruku to baruku, what are them sana? Lower third E. Charles, do you know? Baroya, man, a formula. You cook Roya. What a formula? You cook with Zikunura. That was the person that was ah, second list years, you know, I didn't have to take a one. They got the damn cards, I'm which one. Why, I came away, I jumped up. They got the sort of my community, you know, farm, but you didn't get to nine out of the Charles. Can I see that? Oh, no, die. They have witchcraft, real witchcraft. And they use and apply that witchcraft to, to witchcraft people. It doesn't matter whether you're European or you're black or white. They have witchcraft. They have a spell and an anti-spell. And they said, ah, but that you call our Vasna Marius Gant, ah, Charles. Bakawaya Kwatiri, if you go to their kingdom and you want money, they give you rice. They so will give rice. But the person doesn't know what that rice means that we've given them. We've given that person more demon to look for money for them. And then she, she said to me, now we're going to Chinoy. There is a, 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 they are one of their big leaders there. And they're also doing Mozambique. Those, those are the two people. Have you not seen, Charles, that people are driving nice, nice car, and you're asking yourself where are they getting the money in Zimbabwe? I was looking. I said, okay, so you came from America. I said, ah, I've also come to take money from our, from our kingdom. Hallelujah. So there is witchcraft, my child, my son. Then I said, okay, why did you come here today? I said, I wanted to see you do deliverance. So that I see you, whether you've got you come out, you know. <laughs> but I've not yet come here for deliverance. I'm just passing. So Lucifer can pass through here. The same way rehab passed through there. Say, okay, says uh that no pit and take I'm going to pull away. I said, oh, fine. So I just want to show you that Lucifer has got too much power. Don't underestimate that one. Because in as much as you say in the mighty name of Jesus, you must be able to observe the law of Moses for you to be successful. So today's teaching is for you to learn how to observe the law of Moses. Chapter 3. Let's just jump to chapter 3. Joshua chapter 3, verse 4. Joshua chapter 3. Maybe you can start from verse 1. so that it becomes Joshua chapter 3, verse 1. And they had in the Israelites crossed the Jordan. Early the next morning, 
Joshua and all the Israelites left Acacia Grove and arrived at the banks of the Jordan River. So you remember I was telling you that they were at Acacia Grove. So now they are leaving Acacia Grove and now you know the title of this message is called Acacia Grove. Because at Acacia Grove, it's a place where you leave your family, your children, your livestock, and you take a journey of faith without your wife. <laughs> at Acacia Grove, it's a place where you leave your husband and say, this journey, my husband, you are not part of it. One-on-one -on -one with Jesus Christ. Early the next morning, yes. Joshua and all the Israelites left Acacia Grove uh -huh. and arrived at the banks of the Jordan River uh -huh. where they camped before crossing. Yes. Three days later, the Israelite officers went through the camp giving these instructions to the people. When you see the Levitical priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God. You can stop there. Listen, this is the turning point. There is a journey that you have never taken before. And it's only God that can lead you there. It's like you, you've never been to the prayer mountain. So, it's like I must go and sleep at the prayer mountain today. Please, please take it slow. Chapter, verse 2. So after, so it was after three days that the officers went through the camp. Giving, giving these instructions yes. to the people. Yes. When you see the Levitical priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God. Yes. Move out from your position uh -huh. and follow them. Because when you are now going, the level of anointing that you are now going to, it's a new level that you have never seen before. It's a level which the Levitical priest and the Ark of God must go before you. Verse 4. Since you have never traveled this way before. Since you have never traveled this way before they will guide you the levitical priests will guide you stay about a half mile just behind them keeping a clear distance between you and the ark make sure you don't come any closer then joshua told the people Purify yourselves, uh -huh. for tomorrow the Lord uh -huh. will do great wonders among you. Oh, la ba 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 God is going to do great wonders in your life, in your career, in your business, in your marriage tomorrow. God will do great wonders. Great wonders, great wonders, great wonders. Deliverance, chaiti kapauri, ino shoka zinzarese, ino sudungura zinzarese. Tomorrow, God will lift you up in the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be a revelation of revelation that reveal. Tomorrow, God will show you great wonders. Hallelujah. You know, if I was part of those people and God says it's time for you to fast and pray and wait for God to show you great wonders. It's a great privilege to be in the arena of liberty in Jesus' mighty name. Let's close it. Verse 6. In the morning, Joshua said to the priests, uh -huh. Lift up the Ark of the Covenant yes. and lead the people across the river. Yes. And so they started out and went ahead of the people. Uh -huh. The Lord told Joshua, Today I will begin to make you a great leader in the eyes of all the Israelites. They will know that I am with you. Thank you, Jesus. Just as I was with Moses. You see... There is a day that God, all these things Joshua was doing, he was not yet a great man. 
ukuru wake wese uri kutangira hi papa patanga kuti chitora hi are kamufambe nayo that's where greatness now starts and god anoints a day and says today i will make you a great leader and people will know that i am with you hallelujah i decree and declare greatness upon your life in the mighty name of jesus in your workplace greatness in your marriage greatness in your family greatness on earth greatness be upon you today let there be greatness let there be greatness let there be greatness let there be greatness today let god start to manifest greatness upon your life who if anyone speak negative about you let god's greatness be seen amen let god magnify himself upon your body your name shall be lifted high your name shall be exalted and let god lift you up today you shall be great you shall be great you shall be great let it be so and so shall it be in jesus mighty name we pray viewers all over the world if you are just joining us my name is general overseer dr charles takavengwa coming to you from the deliverance center here in harare zimbabwe i am expecting to see you this sunday where we are having testimony service it's going to be testimony time until 9 p.m. So if you don't have food, don't worry, don't buy food. There'll be enough to supply. Jesus used to feed 5,000 people. I you know you got right. I'm telling you. Hey. Amazon manna from heaven. Yes, my master used to, to give them manna. And I was asking God, Master, why did you give those people that were murmuring manna? Then the master said, Kuti Moses Sasanyari. Uchai Tanzara, but you my testimony. Kutindi Sanyari. Baba Chakupa Mana, you could took Gare Ukute, Uchich Gauchit, what my testimony of Amway. Kushikra was Sumuka, where we are so Pacha Pupuche testimony. So Sunday service, powerful service. My visitors, whether from Namibia, from Gweru, it doesn't matter. God love you. I know you are having a wonderful time at the hotel. Hallelujah. So tomorrow, my master say, it's going to be a fantastic day for you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So tomorrow you are waking up very early. Uh, if, you, if you don't know the word early, early I'm telling you. By six o'clock you'll be here in the arena. You will bathe here. Hallelujah. And we will wash you and make sure that you live here with a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. And your life shall never be the same again. It's not about money, it's about life in Jesus' mighty name. So, Captain, you'll be busy tomorrow. You'll be very, very busy. Because the Chakutai, they said, but you can't take it to move the panel, more you are right. Hallelujah. Want to heal that, that heart problem. So, if I start today, no, I'll start tomorrow morning, six o'clock, until whatever time God shall be with you, leading you. So, today we'll feed you. To make sure that when you cry with the pain tomorrow, we don't care. Hallelujah. So it shall be well. We're going to the prayer mountain tomorrow at 2 o'clock. And uh, well, it's going to be a fantastic journey. The journey of faith. I think we'll live here at 3. But we'll gather here at 2 o'clock. And 3 o'clock we'll start. Because our prayer is 6 o'clock prayer. So we'll pray from 5 to 6 to 7. Then we'll return here back to, to, to the arena. And uh, we'll come for our Sunday service. So... Let it be so and so shall it be. God shall be with you all the days of your life. Remember Jacob. Remember Joshua. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. These are the lessons today. Make the word of God a standard for your life. And your life shall never be the same again. In Jesus' mighty name. My God love you, my daughter. Very, very much. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. We believe how we will be able to do it. We believe how we will be able to do it. We believe how we will be able to do it. We believe how we will be able to do it. We believe how we will be able to do it. We believe how we will be able to do it. We believe how we will be able to do it. We believe how we will be able to do it. We believe how we will be able to do it. We so can the mirror come and that the band no mirror? Hey, now since we are I say to from our kingdom, Mr. FM, the camera is so Baba, we are going to be great. We Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Musana, Makumbo, Waziwa, Mbi, Shiba, Makumbo, Champion. Amen. Ah, Baba, we are going to shine. Makumbo, now you are going to be great. Musana. I want to see it. See, last is before you. You talk about it. You talk it. You talk about it. You Mother, I give life to this body. Thank you, Lord. Now, I see you believe how 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 you believe you Thank you, Jesus. May God increase you. Thank you, Jesus. It is well. How are you? My master love you.
pastor love. So just keep coming. But deliverance is still going on. Just keep coming. Because if I touch you, you manifest, you will not know what has what's happened. My master said I must talk to you and encourage you. Understand? And that case must be broken. When I saw you in the church today, I said, Oh God, you have remembered this one. So God love you. He's the one who bring you here. Receive life today. Thank you, Jesus. It is well. Glory be to God. There shall be breakthrough in finances through Nyasha Mzarasi, that one that you are playing with. There shall be breakthrough. My daughter, you did wise. Tomorrow is your day. You must go to the mountain tomorrow. I want to see you there. Hallelujah. There shall be increase. I spoke to you already. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come out in the mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Come out of him. demons that love people. Do you understand? Have you not heard those demons say, Have you not heard those demons? Saying we love, we really love this one. So demon love this one. And the demon affecting his progress. That's true. Because that is the, the way of the demon. It's okay. God bless you. I'll see your testimony on Sunday. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, we exalt your name, my Lord. May you increase upon each and every hand that you have given unto your kingdom, my Lord. May their cup overflow with joy, peace, and gladness in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Why does it happen? You failed. It's okay, no problem. It's okay. Grace is sufficient in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So, my peace I give to you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, peace, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with you now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. 
and you will dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So tomorrow is a special service, a testimony service. We'll be starting also tomorrow at 9, but we have uh, the main service, which is what will be happening on Sunday. Hallelujah. So it's going to be a big, big service. And uh, today was deliverance service. So I must stand, I must touch you. Because today was deliverance service. My master said it's deliverance service. But some of, some of the people I'll be giving you instruction. I'll see you tomorrow. Let us stand because of time. I must go to Star FM for tonight's program. We have a, a live program that must come out tonight. I'm only remembering now. Master say, you must go to the mountain. Master say, you must go to the mountain. You must go to the mountain. You must go to the mountain. I cannot explain too much. God, God will talk to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. She must also go to the mountain as well. Thank you, Lord. I think we need more ushers. Because people get yet here. So she must come tomorrow. Thank you, Lord. The fight the marriage of this one. Come on. Out. Come on. Out. Come on. Come on. Come men of God you are pregnant you did it yeah. I, I, you must come tomorrow Chris, I'll see you tomorrow 7 in the morning this one is not feeling well she's not feeling well this one Okay, the tari said.
issue of your son. Your son, your son, your son, your son, your son, your son, your son. Yes. How are you? Yes. How are you? Yes. How are you? Yes. How are you? Yes. 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 So, I want to see him. Out of him. Out of him. Out of him. They're using him for witchcraft. You understand? They, they use your son for witchcraft. So, to block his prosperity. So, Revelation um, water one 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 but thank you Shandisa for breakthrough that is permanent. Hallelujah. So may God increase you. You just wait. Um, Sia will come and give you revelation water one 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 two three four five six seven eight nine ten. So for the ten of you, you can just go to his office.